This educational video covers the relevant steps, unique equipment and important considerations in performing a modified cesarean section in pregnant patients with class 3 obesity to ensure the best outcomes for parent and infant. The patient is a 30-year-old G2P1 with a body mass index of 70 and one prior cesarean section. The patient elected to have a repeat cesarean section for delivery. The pregnancy is at term and the infant is in a right occiput anterior position. After epidural anesthesia is administered, the patient is prepped and draped in the usual sterile fashion in a supine position with a 15 degree left lateral tilt. A supraumbilical transverse incision is made, dividing the skin and subcutaneous tissue, revealing the rectus fascia underneath. In patients with an elevated BMI, the excess adipose tissue may stretch the rectus fascia and displace the rectus abdominis muscles laterally. A slightly upward curved transverse incision is made on the rectus fascia keeping a safe distance from the rectus abdominis muscle and the inferior epigastric arteries. The peritoneum is divided. An abdominal surgical retractor is placed to maximize exposure of the uterus. Depending on the incision site and surgical preference, the vesicouterine peritoneum may be divided. In this case, the vesicle uterine peritoneum is not divided. An incision is made on the lower uterine segment and bluntly expanded laterally. The infant's head is flexed and gently elevated towards the uterine incision. A lateral support and fundal pressure are applied to facilitate delivery. The anterior shoulder is delivered first, followed by the posterior shoulder and the torso. The umbilical cord is clamped and divided, and the placenta is delivered. Both uterine incision angles are secured, and then the incision is closed in two layers. The first layer is approximated using a locked continuous suture. The second layer is approximated in a horizontal imbricated fashion, burying the first layer of closure. The abdominal surgical retractor is removed. The peritoneum is closed using a continuous suture, followed by closing the rectus fascia. The subcutaneous tissue is closed in layers to reapproximate the dead space, and then the skin is closed. An appropriate negative pressure surgical dressing is used to facilitate healing and minimize wound complications. 